All right, we're back for cursed video re-record number just this two, but it was like a 50 minute video because I had to keep rerunning them to actually hit the target. Um, okay, let's do it. Hopefully my mapping is still right because it's a little weird because I have two of the same joysticks plugged in. Good afternoon. Today you'll learn how to use the RB05 manually guided missile. This is perhaps the most difficult weapon to use on the AJS-37. The RB-05 is visually guided by the use of a flare on the back of the missile. Before we begin, please make sure the keys and buttons for the RB-5 missile controls are mapped and Got that it. you're familiar with them. Got it. You can map the control unit as an axis or a hat switch. Got on axes, and actually I think If you need to map buttons, press pause and then escape to do so. Not There's too. a small range set up on the island in the lake south of POTI. It should be your first waypoint, Oops. B1. I think it's got too much Set the draw. weapon selector mode to MARK. It should be the second to leftmost setting. This will set the fuse for the missile in air to ground mode. Too much throw in action. Set mode A and F. The HUD will not change in this mode as there is no sighting system for the missile. Too much throw and actually makes it harder. You should now be within 20 kilometers of the target. It is a concrete building on the island and should be marked with red smoke. Start a gentle dive towards the target. Place the flight path vector just above the target. I do it below. You may want to engage the altitude better. hold to make steering the aircraft easier. Set the trigger to unsafe. I do it slightly below. I think it works better. The trim isn't right either. But that's okay. That's much below, but it'll come up. All right, so unsafe it. When you are within 10 kilometers of the target, you may fire the missile. After you fire the missile, steer the flare so it's covering the target. Fire only one missile at a time, as steering two will be extremely difficult. Right. Try to keep the flare on the target and maneuver the aircraft as little as possible. Try to make any corrections minimal. After impact, it may go around and make another attack Damn. run. This concludes the RB5A tutorial. Keep practicing until you can hit the target with some degree of consistency. Better, but that's not good enough. We'll do it again. <clears throat> At least we got some damage showing, but like 1%, so... It's <laughs> not enough. Man, the rudder is really sensitive on this. And I got a cur pretty good curve. I put a negative curve on the radar, on the, the radio missile. So I think I had too much row, and it makes it harder on the stick. I may even add a little more at some point, but so far I think it's, I think it's doing okay. I just don't think I'm going to use this weapon a lot, so it doesn't really matter. or so kilometers we'll start heading back in coming around again too much rudder like think rudder not actually use rudder I believe that would be about a 2G pull. Uh, two and a half. Thought I was at 60, but I must have been a little over. Um, get a little 
closer before we launch this time. I did not mean to put that in the burner. Okay, rifle. Mm, shoot. Shoot, I thought it was closer than it was. Ah! I'm right, rerunning it. Good afternoon. Today I'll learn how to use the RB05 manually guided missile. This is perhaps the most difficult weapon to use on the AJS-37. The RB05 is visually guided by the use of a flare on the back of the missile. Before we begin, please make sure the keys and buttons for the RB5 missile controls are mapped and that you're familiar with them. You can map the control unit as an axis or a hat switch. If you need to map buttons, press pause and then escape to do so. There's a small range set up on the island in the lake south of POTI. It should be your first waypoint if you want. Set the weapon selector mode to MARK. It should be the second to left most setting. This will set the fuse for the missile in air to ground mode. Set mode A and F. The HUD will not change in this mode as there is no sighting system for the missile. You should now be within 20 kilometers of the target. It is a concrete building on the island and should be marked with red smoke. Start a gentle dive towards the target. Place the flight path vector just above the target. You may want to engage the altitude hold to make steering the aircraft easier. Set the trigger to unsafe. When you are within 10 kilometers of the target, you may fire the missile. After you fire the missile, steer the flare so it's covering the target. Fire only one missile at a time, as steering two will be extremely difficult. Then range. Try Rifle. to keep the flare on the target and maneuver the aircraft as little as possible. Try to make any corrections minimal. After impact, it may go around and make another attack run. Yeah. This concludes the RB5A tutorial. Keep practicing until you can hit the target with some degree of consistency. <clears throat> Do it again. There's a 60 degree pull. And after the release, this displaying the uh, remaining stations. Which is one on the fuselage, right side fuselage pylon. All right, let's turn in.
Okay, start rolling in. Shot that a little. It's fine though. Actually, no. I don't even think I did. Ah, I thought I had that. Shoot. All right, do it again. Good afternoon. Today I'll learn how to use the RB05 manually guided missile. This is perhaps the most difficult weapon to use on the AJS-37. You are telling me. The RB05 is visually guided by the use of a flare on the back of the missile. Before we begin, please make sure the keys and buttons for the RB5 missile controls are mapped and that you're familiar with them. You can map the control unit as an axis or a hat switch. If you need to map buttons, press pause and then escape to do so. There's a small range set up on the island in the lake south of POTI. It should be your first waypoint, B1. Set the weapon selector mode to MARK. It should be the second to leftmost setting. This will set the fuse for the missile in air to ground mode. Already done. Set mode A and F. The HUD will not change in this Still mode showing as there's no sighting system on the, for the uh, missile. Data display. You should now be within 20 kilometers of the target. Yep. It is a concrete building on the island and should be marked with red smoke. Start a gentle dive towards the target. Place the flight path vector just above the target. You may want to engage the altitude hold to make steering the aircraft easier. Set the trigger to unsafe. When you are within 10 kilometers of the okay, target, unsafe you may fire one. the missile. Unsafe After one, you fire the missile, steer the flare so it's covering the target. Fire only one missile at a time, as steering two will be extremely difficult. Unsafe is when the weapon display shows up on the CK data display. I thought it was after weapon release, because I never looked after I unsafed, but now I see. Go ahead, Try rifle. to keep the flare on the target and maneuver the aircraft as little as possible. Try to make any corrections minimal. Ah! I knew it at the second. I saw After it going impact, long. I go around and make another attack run. <laughs> Looked good. This concludes the RB5A tutorial. Keep practicing until you can <sighs> hit the target with some degree of consistency. Looked good right up until the end there. And then I knew it was going long. Go around, try it again. It's frustrating. It's really frustrating. <laughs> to be in the mock numbers. I don't need to be transonic either. Let's keep her in mill now. I think 
Don't need to do any sharp turns. We should be fine to keep our energy. Nice 60 degree bank. Yeah, Flight Director still kind of throws me a little bit sometimes. So I'm not used to it. I'm used to things being centered. Not commanding a turn like that in the HUD. I think the KA-50 does something like it. Okay, turning in. I got distracted by something. So we're going to have a bit of a longer turn in this time. Run in. Which is fine. Yeah, I thought it was a bit over 60 there. Two and a half to keep her level. Gee. One missile remaining, let's make this one count. Okay, let's start rolling in. God G as we roll in. Line her up. Attitude hold. I'm actually not sure how attitude hold works because it seems like you can still fly normally. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to look into that a little more. Uh, rifle. I was getting low enough that I was starting to concern myself, so I wasn't paying as much attention to the missile. Ugh! Okay. Yeah, see? I have attitude hold on. I'm not touching the stick. Maybe that's what it does. It just holds the attitude it was last left at. It just turned off. So it won't hold past knife. Um, there's probably a degree where it, where it... Degree of bank where it kicks off. But uh, I'm just not sure what it's doing. But let's run it again. Runner again. Sound like a compressor still, a little bit. Good afternoon. Today you'll learn how to use the RB05 manually guided missile. This is perhaps the most difficult weapon to use on the AJS 37. <coughs> the RB05 is visually guided by the use of a flare on the back of the missile. Before we begin, please make sure the keys and buttons for the RB5 missile controls are mapped and that you're familiar with them. You can map the control unit as an axis or a hat switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you need to map buttons, press pause and then escape to do so. There's a small range set up on the island in the lake south of POTI. It should be your first waypoint, B1. Set the weapon selector mode to MARK. It should be the second to left most setting. This will set the fuse for the missile in air to ground mode. Set mode A and F. The HUD will not change in this mode as there is no sighting system for the missile. You should now be within 20 kilometers of the target. Okay. It is a concrete building on the island and should be marked with red smoke. Start a gentle dive towards the target. Place the flight path vector just above the target. You may want to engage the altitude hold to make steering the aircraft easier. 
Set the trigger to unsafe. Really sounds like he says alt altitude, not attitude, but... When you are within 10 kilometers of the target, you may fire the missile. After you fire the missile, steer the flare so it's covering the target. Fire only one missile at a time, as steering two will be extremely difficult. Flight path marker is going to get in my way a little bit this time, but I think we can manage. At least the missile will actually be tracking. Try to keep the flare on the target and maneuver the aircraft as little as possible. Try to make any corrections minimal. Kind of at the target as a start, so that will be helpful. After yes. impact, you may go around and make another Ooh, attack run. Finally. This concludes the RB5A tutorial. Uh, Keep practicing until you can hit the target with some degree of consistency. We're going to make one more run with that last missile, but we're not going to care if it hits anything or not. Come on, turn off. I wish I could turn that overlay off when I don't want it. Sometimes you nudge it and it's just kind of annoying. This is 4G pull at some point there. That's a very common number for uh, set attack profiles. The 4G pullout. Need some down trim. One missile remaining. It would be nice to go out with a hit, but I got the hit last time, so I don't care. <laughs> You're doing steep turns, my instructor. <laughs> I'd get low, and my instructor would laugh and just be like, you just like pulling G. Actually, I didn't think of it. I should have looked for an app on my phone when we were doing the steep turn stuff. But, uh, had an accelerometer in there and see, uh, actually what it peaked out at. I didn't unsafe, it's fine. Probably a good habit. And the resave. Alright. I'm gonna keep her up a little bit for a few more. And then we'll start putting her down. Cap. In range. Rifle. Hit. Nice. Two hits. I like it. Good way to end. Good way to end. Let's go back and do a low pass. And probably through the city, and then we'll call it quits. I 
think the G limit on this during peacetime is 6G. It's not limited, you can overpull it, and like I just did the 6G. Um, 7G during wartime. We are supersonic. Breaking people's windows. Mock tuck here. I'm definitely having to pull up back on those dish wires. <laughs> uh, definitely have to pull back on the stick a bit to maintain. Transonic. light indicator over there. Flight gears exchange a bit during the transonic regiment. Can't remember exactly what they are, but it's in the aerodynamic section of the manual. An overdue for for wartime. Slight overdue for peacetime. Ah, that's it. 